And now to a follow up we first told you about yesterday. A deputy in Verde County is still in critical condition after crashing his cruiser earlier this week. North Carolina Highway Patrol say Deputy Coulter Lipscomb's patrol car hydroplaned and slid off the road Wednesday morning. This happened on U.S. Highway 13 near Windsor. Senator your side's Kara Dixon joins us now live from the newsroom with more on Deputy Lipscomb's recovery. And Kara, you had a chance to speak with his mother this afternoon. Yeah, that's right, Kayla. And as you can imagine, it's been a hard couple of days for the Lipscomb family, but his mother says he is improving. According to Highway Patrol, Lipscomb's patrol car hydroplane during rainy weather and crossed into another lane before sliding into the woods. His car then hit a ditch and trees before coming to a stop. Lipscomb was taken to the Vident Medical Center in Greenville, where he underwent multiple surgeries to repair a number of injuries, including his diaphragm, spleen, and legs. He also had a small brain bleed. I spoke with his mother, Nada Lipscomb, over the phone. She tells me he was taken off his ventilator yesterday and finally came around today. She says her son's been a deputy for only about two years, following in the footsteps of his father. Lipscomb says the community has also stepped up to show their support, and she's extremely grateful. The community, they've been awesome. They have just reached out to us and just the support and everything they're, they're doing to encourage us, encourage culture. Their banners are around town. They're doing prayer ribbons. The local restaurants are putting um, stickers on their to-go orders that they pray for culture, and they have a Bible verse. Now, Lipscomb says her son has a long recovery ahead, but coming up tonight at 11, hear what miracle she says happened that allowed her son to still be here today. In the newsroom, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.